What's up, everybody? It's your favorite. Let's get a few more in before the year closes. Favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Magic Square Space Skimming, which is their Cyclonus. This was sent to me from Titan One Toys. He, I didn't even know it was coming. He, I guess he just figured I'd want to take a look at it, and he was right. So it's nice to have friends in, in good places. So he, this is available at Titan One Store. The link will be in the description. Give him a shout. Tell him Scully sent you. And with that, let's take a look at this figure. He comes with one gun. No paint, but it is sculpted well, and the plastic feels good. And as you saw in the opening footage, he holds it just fine. Now let's talk about the figure. So the first thing we have to acknowledge, it feels different. It doesn't feel like the super soft plastic from the ones before it. It feels better. Very interesting and very nice to see. Very nice to see. It has a very solid feel to it. The plastic is still... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I guess kind of similar to make toys early stuff maybe or maybe early Warbitron. I, I don't know. I know the feeling. I just can't place it. But it is not that super soft plastic that we've seen with all their other releases. Interesting. Feels nice. So let's talk about them. The head. We have uh, light piping for the eyes, which is fine for a Legends class figure. We have gray paint on the face. We have the little goatee painted. He has a pretty, um, like, wicked looking face sculpt, like he's scowling or, or making the old turtle's face. Black paint on the rabbit ears. Looks good. The head, I think, is just on a swivel. Let's see if I can't. Sometimes these are... Yeah. So just on a swivel, which is fine, I think, ultimately. And the chest. Orange paint, black paint, gray paint all on the chest. Swivel is there. And there's a little bit of a kind of rocking for a, maybe the slightest ab crunch. And I might be I might be a little too giving, but I'm in the holiday season. Okay? So give me a break. And I was right. I'm cutting this in. There's a double hinge up in the abdomen to get you a crazy ab crunch. So... I mean, both forward and back, honestly. The back isn't as pretty, but it is there. And then we have the shoulders here. You have, they come out on a double hinge. So using the double hinge and then this additional hinge inside the shoulder, you can get the arm up fairly high. You can cheat it and get it all the way out to the side, I think, if you had to for a pose or a picture or something. So I think that would ultimately work. Gray paint there. We have black paint on the wings. Looks nice. And then, of course, you get the swivel around. Little tight tolerance there, but... Um, not hateful bicep swivel single hinged is it or is it double i think it's single hinged elbow there getting you 90 degrees wrist swivel and they're a little tight as well we do have some black paint on the forearm so pretty pretty nice deco on this guy to be fair same for the other side pelvis we have the same orange black paint and we have t-jointed ball joints for hips they get you almost the full Van Dam. I think we should give it to them. And the full Monty. So, good enough. We have a thigh swivel built around the bottom of the socket joint for the ball peg. And then we have a knee hinge that gets you 90 degrees, so no issue there. Lower legs, we have purple paint and orange paint that looks great. And then we have black paint on the toes. Um, works. It works quite well. And then we have the ankle tilts all the way down. We do it as an, and an additional toe tilt if you need it both down and up a little bit of an ankle tilt up unfortunately not much of a rocker on this guy which is a bummer because magic square has pretty much had a crazy rocker on every figure they've put out thus far i think this is the first one that doesn't so that's a bit disappointing uh on the back we have a little black paint on the cockpit so to speak but the I mean, it cleans up fairly well. Size comparison-wise, there he is with the two Legends that I own. I know people get upset about the, my Legends scaling, but I just, just look, it's the options I have. One day I'll have the Magic Square Stunicons that I can show off as a size comparison, but today ain't that day. So you're going to have to tough it out, I'm afraid. But hopefully that gives you somewhat of an idea. Let's get him transformed. Turn the head around 180. Turn at the... Oh, no. Just extend first these forearm pieces to cover down over top of the hands. Break the connection here at the lower leg so that you can take this top panel and spin it 180. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Using that double hinge that we found, open up this back cockpit here 
and flip all of this out. This is the old nose cone that does hide up in there fairly well. I mean, it's like piece on top of piece on top of piece. It's accordion. And then you can put this back and, of course, over top of his face in typical Cyclonus style. Extend the wings on both sides. Collapse the back side of the leg. Rotate at the forearm so that the purple wings are facing to the top. It'll also reveal the port to peg into the side of the legs there. And then using that double hinge in the shoulder, you want to rotate this down. And then plug this in to the side of the calf <clears throat> on both sides. And then lastly, bend at the toes so that you kind of create the illusion of the, the back of the, of the jet. And I'll clean them up, we'll take a look at them. So I don't really think that this does a, a great job. You know, it's, it's more kind of suggestive or of the shape of the jet than it actually is a decent kind of representation of the jet. So yeah, it, I don't know. I, I mean, the transformation's cool, but it just it doesn't it doesn't get the job done for me. It just doesn't do a great job, unfortunately. Uh, of course, I'll show you what it looks like next to Tiger Tracks, but um, even Tiger Tracks can't save this one. I don't think. Final thoughts wise, my biggest complaint is that the alt mode <laughs> just does it. Just it just doesn't do it. It's a nice try. My second real complaint that would actually bother me if I were to have bought this is that the ankle rockers have a very limited range. But even with the limited range, as you can see, you're going to be able to pull off a pose with no problem. So, I mean, the complaints are fairly minimal. A lot of positives, though, the materials feel better. There is an improvement in materials. People should take note of that. Secondly, like I kind of feel like this guy does have a presence. I mean, he's small, obviously, but there's something to this one. Like, this has a, a, I don't know, there's just a stronger statement made, I think. The engineering is fine, it just doesn't you know, work. It just doesn't pull off what it's supposed to pull off, but I mean, it's 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 enjoyable. And the articulation is good, except for the, the ankle rockers, and then the sculpt is fantastic. So, yeah, it's a, it's a recommend for me, and um, it has a lot of things going for it. Just the alt mode isn't one of them. So, that's how I feel about it. If you can get past the alt mode bit, um, I think you're going to enjoy this guy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.